option to to uh, get some information about the faculties of medicine in uh, Košice, Martin and Bratislava, but also uh, you will see some videos from the cities and from the universities. And uh, also definitely if you have uh, any questions, uh, please write uh, to the chat. I will answer them at the end of this, uh, of this video, of this webinar. Uh, also, please, if there is any technical issue, either with presentation or maybe with some, with my voice or anything, uh, please let me know. Let's start. Some basic facts about uh, Slovakia. Uh, Slovakia is member of the European Union uh, since 2004. Uh, it's already 15 years. Uh, Schengen area, which means that uh, you can travel to any countries which are in the green color here. Mm, so basically, except a few uh, Serbian um, Balkanic country, you can go anywhere. And finally, we also use the euro, so we are uh, we have the same currency as as the um, uh, most of the Europe, which is also very good for the economy. Why you should, uh, maybe before we go to the uh, presentation itself about the universities, maybe we can think for a second why you should uh, consider studying in uh, Slovakia. Either you can study medicine or dentistry. Uh, degree from Slovakia, it's run on the ECTC level. You are awarded uh, credits which are recognized in the whole Europe. And uh, you can, after graduation, you can you can work anywhere. You can work anywhere in the European Union. Uh, for example, uh, University of Pavel Josef Šafarek is also recognized uh, in uh, India. Uh, so that is also big plus for you. Uh, the level of tuition fees is moderate. Uh, I will talk about that later. And also, what is uh, special? is the fact that uh, all the, uh, most of the education, uh, especially the laboratories, uh, they take place in the small groups of 8 to 15 people, uh, which means that you will be in touch with the patients and with the practical uh, learning uh, from the first days of your studies. Uh, there are three universities, uh, two universities and three faculties, uh, pardon, uh, in uh, Slovakia. Uh, there is University of Pavel Josef Šafelik in Košice. Košice is second largest city. And then uh, Komenius University has two faculties. Uh, one is in uh, Martin, that's Jesenius Faculty of Medicine. And second is in Bratislava, that's Faculty of Medicine in Bratislava. Let's start with the UPGS. Uh, it is situated in the second biggest city uh, of uh, Slovakia. Uh, there are many international students uh, from totally there are students from 60 countries and most of them are from Germany, Spain, Poland. You can study two study programs um, in Košice. It can be general medicine or dental medicine. Both of these study programs has, uh, have uh, six years of studies and once you uh, finish uh, your studies, you are awarded the degree of um, Doctor of General Medicine or Doctor of Dental Medicine. Last webinar, some people asked how does it work with the specialization. Maybe we can talk about that later, but the main, main, uh, main uh, message uh, is that uh, once you have this degree you can work anywhere as a doctor in uh, European Union and also in countries that recognize uh, univers this university. As you can see these are some pictures from the uh, laboratories and as you can see usually there are small groups of people um, which will not exceed 15 people and also they go to, the, uh, to meet the patients. Uh, University Hospital is located exactly next to the Faculty of uh, Medicine and uh, they definitely you need also some basic knowledge of Slovak uh, so you can communicate with them. 
uh, Slack language is included in the study curriculum. It's like language one to four semester. So uh, you have definitely a lot of time for the practicing. Uh, also today, I, uh, I would like to show you some very nice uh, videos uh, because I guess most of you don't know anything uh, maybe about Slovakia or Kosice. So firstly, let's see some video how the Kosice looks like. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video as I did. Uh, like so, uh, Kozice was like, as you could see, the main European uh, city of the culture, also sport, and this year they are the main uh, of the uh, main uh, capital of Europe of the uh, of the doing things for free. Uh, so, uh, but let's uh, go back to the uh, programs for the international uh, students. So there is general medicine, uh, which takes uh, six years, and there are around 200 accepted students uh, for the first year, and the tuition fees are 10 and a half thousand uh, euros for one year, which can be paid uh, in two in two installments. And there is also and there is also a scholarship offered for the for the best students which is like also quite nice uh, way how to get uh, some extra money to your budget. Uh, secondly, there is dental medicine. Uh, dental medicine also takes six years. Uh, usually around 40 students get admission and uh, you need to pay uh, 11,000 euros for one year. Uh, some universities, they also charge uh, like extra material, extra costs uh, for the dental materials. Actually, for the Faculty of Medicine Košice, there is no extra cost. So what you pay, it's 11,000 euros. You even do not need to pay uh, money for the books. Uh, you can only, uh, you can, you will just pay deposit at the beginning of your studies. And then um, like all the books are in the library, in the university library. So you do not need to invest anything more. Uh, this is the uh, immatriculation. You know, for the for the medicine and uh, as uh, this is like big event for the all the parents and all the teachers students definitely because uh, their uh, their uh, students and their parents coming to the uh, coming for the special event and uh, as you can see there are two to three hundred people in the graduation during the graduation ceremony. Uh, how to get accepted for the Faculty of Medicine of the UPGS? Uh, for the Faculty of Medicine in uh, Košice, we will organize the uh, entrance test uh, also in India, which will be on 22nd of uh, July. 
in that will be in uh, New Delhi and 24th of uh, July will be in uh, Chennai. Uh, you can register with your agent, which is uh, which is uh, Europe Study Center. Uh, if you have any question regarding this exam, I would definitely uh, ask you to contact your local uh, local branch. And uh, all the questions which uh, which will be there at the entrance exam are already published. Uh, they're in the they're from biology and they're from the chemistry uh, booklets which you can buy from the faculty or from our agency. They have uh, 600 questions from biology and 600 questions from the chemistry. And university will choose 100 questions each. Uh, so totally there will be every question has four options and for one question you can get up to four points. Uh, totally there are 200 questions so totally you can score up to 800 points. Uh, you, you need to get at least 600 points to get admission to the university. Um, nothing else is actually needed for the admission, um, like there's nothing like SCAB interviews or excellent results from the secondary school, which makes uh, this uh, school very uh, different from other universities. Uh, very briefly, I will go through the uh, documents which you will need for the legislation. Uh, so, if you want to take uh, play, uh, take part of the entrance exam in India, you will need to uh, deliver all the documents at least five weeks before the entrance exam, which will be basically uh, beginning of uh, June. And uh, registration, uh, if you will decide to come to Slovakia, you just need uh, three weeks uh, to deliver your documents and uh, list of documents it's very easy uh, copy of passport application form registering for the concrete date uh, payment of 40 euros medical certificate and 12 certificate from your secondary school once you submit this you are registered for the university and you can uh, you can proceed with your process uh, let's move to the Yesenius Faculty of uh, Medicine. Again, I prepared some very nice video uh, for you. Uh, it totally it has 11 minutes, but we will watch just first two minutes. Welcome to Martin, in the centre of the Turiet region, where past and present meet in a dynamic, cultural, social and sporting life. The Asenius Faculty of Medicine, Comenius University, is a leader in medical education in Slovakia and plays an important part in the life of the city. Its humanistic mission has been spread throughout the world by hundreds of graduates ever since the faculty was established. Our aim is to create not only good conditions for university studies, but also conditions for lifelong learning in a comfortable learning environment with Martin University Hospital. The main activities of our faculty focus on the provision of educational, scientific research and curative and preventive activities. The education and training of our graduates is based on the deep traditions of European medicine which has gradually developed into contemporary evidence-based medicine. Every year there is great interest in studying at our faculty, which is proved by the growing number of domestic and international applicants. We are pleased that we can admit excellent secondary school graduates who fulfil the admission criteria by more than 80%. At present, in addition to Slovak students, there are students from Norway, Iceland, Sweden, Germany, Poland and many other countries. Within graduate studies, the faculty provides the study program of general medicine in Slovak and English language, dental medicine and non-medical study programs in nursing, midwifery and public health. 
Okay, then um, I can I can show you the link of this uh, video in the in the private chats uh, in the chat below. And um, so let's speak uh, again a little bit about this uh, faculty. As you heard already, um, as you heard already, it's uh, located in very beautiful uh, city, very close to the mountains. Most of students are from Iceland and Norway. And also some of them are from Poland, but uh, Germany, Spain, like basically from many European and world countries. And as it is not that uh, big uh, city, uh, there are like moderate living costs uh, compared to Bratislava and let's say also compared to the Košice. Uh, you've seen this uh, building also in video, like it's one of the uh, faculties of uh, one of the buildings of the Faculty of Medicine in uh, Martin. And here you can uh, see the pictures from the open day, um, of the open day when the uh, local students are invited to join the, uh, are invited to join the uh, Faculty of Medicine Martin. They can uh, practice some, some skills uh, such as first aid or first help for the for the patients, or you, here you can see uh, there are also many international uh, conferences which are taking place in uh, uh, in Martin. In uh, Martin, there is just one uh, program for the faculty uh, for the students, which is general medicine, but its level is really excellent. Uh, one of the best programs of medicine in the Central Europe. It uh, takes uh, six years and uh, there are just 9,900 uh, euros for one year, but this payment, it must be paid in uh, one uh, in single payment, so no option for the installments uh, compared to the Faculty of Medicine Košice or Faculty of Medicine in Bratislava. Every year uh, there are 120 students uh, which get accepted for these English programs and uh, also registration is uh, very easy. Uh, you just, uh, you firstly, definitely you will just submit uh, documents uh, for the entrance test. So most of documents you just need to deliver scans to the university but a uh, few of them, there must be originals. So you will need to submit copy of passport, original of the SAN application form, a uh, copy of your secondary school degree, uh, CV3 passport photos, and final confirmation of, of the uh, entrance fee, uh, which is uh, 70, 70 euros. Uh, right now, the entrance test uh, will be taking place uh, just in. Um, Slovakia, but in case of uh, big interest from the students, it's no problem to organize it also uh, abroad. Like if you would be interested in uh, taking uh, place in the admission for the Martin, definitely I would again suggest you to contact your uh, your branch of the Europe Study Center, and they will be definitely uh, able and very helpful to provide you with the, all the details regarding the admission. Uh, regarding the test, uh, the system is very similar to the Košice. Um, so there is entrance test from the biology and uh, chemistry. It's 100 questions uh, each. Usually you need to get around, let's say, 120, 130 points to get accepted. So around 60 to 65 percent. Um, if you compare it with the if you compare it uh, with the Faculty of Medicine in uh, Košice, there you had to score 75%. So this is, uh, from this point of view, it's it's better. Uh, for the entrance test, there will be questions, uh, multiple choice tests, and you need to have just general knowledge of the of biology and chemistry, which, uh, which means that uh, faculty can also provide you with some basic uh, study materials, uh, especially from the uh, from these two uh, subjects, as usual, is very similar to the uh, education uh, at uh, secondary school. Finally, we will go. Uh, we can talk a little bit about the Faculty of Medicine in uh, Bratislava. 
there are two programs for the international students. Uh, one is uh, general medicine and second is uh, dental medicine. Uh, both of them will take uh, six years and uh, it's a little bit uh, cheaper uh, compared to the Kosciuszko and Martin for general medicine. It's 9,500 euros, and for dental medicine, it's 11,000. Uh, there is one, uh, there is one uh, difference uh, that for this faculty, you need to invest also money uh, for the books because, like, books are not provided by the university, and also the living costs in Bratislava are bigger because uh, faculty is not providing any uh, accommodation and basically students they need to look for the uh, for the accommodation by themselves uh, again i found one uh, really nice video for you uh, it will be about the fac uh, about the common use university in general and also uh, we will see some basic uh, and some basic information about some different uh, faculties uh, again as I said like you are in touch with the, with the patients in their first uh, uh, months and years of your studies and also the level of uh, Slovak is also needed uh, if, because you will need to speak with your with your uh, with the patients and uh, definitely some basic survival knowledge of Slovak is welcomed uh, Bratislava entrance exam. Uh, it's it. They total. They have four uh, terms of the entrance exam. Uh, two of them will be in June, and two of them will be in uh, August. There is no option to write the entrance test for the Bratislava in uh, abroad, uh, which means uh, that uh, they have just these four options, and uh, they do not organize any other admissions abroad uh, faculty is providing the uh, is providing the questions from biology and chemistry uh, in uh, both booklets there are 750 questions each so totally you have 1500 questions to prepare and out of uh, this 750 they will choose uh, 100 uh, questions again one question has uh, four options so maximally you can score four points for one question and uh, if you want to get accepted you will need to be ranked among the best 200 students for the general medicine and among the best 35 students for the dental medicine so let's say that your results might be excellent but there will be 200 students better than you but also on another hand uh, you can like have uh, like really like not very good result and still if you are better than other 200 students you get admission so it has some uh, cons and pros uh, definitely again you do not need to have any skype interview um, or any excellent results from the biology and chemistry 
uh, you just need to have uh, excellence. Uh, you just need to uh, pass the secondary school and write uh, and write uh, the entrance exam in a decent way. Uh, so you will be among the best students. Uh, as I said, this is quite uh, important. Faculty is not providing the accommodation for the students, and so, which means you will need to find your private flat, which is also needed for your residence permit application. And secondly, unlike the Košice and Martin, there is also deduction for the wrong answers, So, which means that last year there were students with 200 points out of uh, 800 and uh, they got uh, admission because of this uh, deduction of points uh, it was like in the end it was uh, they got um, they were better than other students so uh, it's very tough to predict like how many points you will need to have to get accepted for this faculty of medicine this is the end of, uh, this is the end of the formal part of the presentation. Uh, now I would like uh, to ask you to give uh, any questions uh, which might be um, interesting uh, for you because I'm sure that uh, maybe you are listening about Slovakia for the first time in your life and I'm sure that you must be having uh, many questions. Meanwhile, maybe I can uh, share you. I will share you the uh, links uh, for the videos uh, which I mentioned today. So I will post it here. Okay, here we go. And these videos uh, I use today, so definitely they will. They can. Uh, they can provide you maybe with a little bit more information about the city as well, about the faculties. And maybe we can, uh, before I will get some uh, question, maybe I can speak a little bit about uh, the residence permit in Slovakia. How does it work? How long is the process? Um, I would suggest to start the process as soon as uh, possible, um, which means to have uh, all documents ready for your uh, process because uh, because it takes at least, let's say, 30 to 45 days to get uh, visas. You need to come, you need to go to the embassy in uh, New Delhi and apply for the D visas. Uh, D, D visas means national D visas. And uh, these D visas will be for 90 days, uh, so 9 zero. And within uh, those 90 days, um, Within those 90 days, you need to submit a request for the residence permit at foreign policy in Košice. Uh, and then you will get the residence permit for the complete uh, length uh, of your studies. Which means if you come, let's say, just for the master's, let's say in informatics, you get the residence permit just for two years. Um, but if you uh, come to study medicine uh, for uh, six years, then you get residence permit for six years, uh, which is good. For example, in the Czech Republic, they do not uh, have uh, these residence permits for six years, just like every year you need to go and renew, which is like very uh, painful and very tiring experience. A very similar, I guess it's also in Poland, if I'm not mistaken, you get the first uh, residence permit just for 18 months, and then you need to go and extend. And uh, also, also um, like once, if you study normally, if you are no delays with your exams, there will be no interruption from there will be no interruption from the uh, from the foreign police, uh, which is also good because they know the students are coming to study not to do anything bad. So I, I think that can be also big plus. And I see two questions, so let's uh, answer them one by one. Uh, this is a very good question from Neha. Uh, general medicine is equivalent to MBBS or MD degree. 
Uh, MBBS, uh, in a sense, bachelor degree. Um, so uh, uh, all the study programs which are offered in Slovakia, uh, there is no distinction between the bachelor and master. Like it's like combination of the bachelor and master. After six years, uh, you, you will get the final degree of the doctor, which is equivalent to the master or to the master studies. So. Uh, unlike the MBBS, where you still need to do some uh, master studies, uh, where you need to do some specialization. Once you graduate, uh, once you graduate in uh, Slovakia, you get master degree uh, or even better medical degree, uh, which is uh, comparable with the master studies. Uh, Linu is asking. Uh, how many practice hours uh, will the student get and in which hospital they get these practices? Uh, is it paid or not? Uh, generally speaking, the practices are, uh, are not uh, paid because they are part of the education uh, and actually university needs to pay uh, to, the, uh, to the hospitals to be able to go there with the students. Um, so actually also these costs are incorporated in the tuition fees. Uh, for the every faculty of medicine in Slovakia has uh, its own uh, university hospital, which means uh, usually those hospitals are, let's say, 200 or 500 meters away. Uh, so it's university hospital in Košice, also called new hospital. Uh, then there is University Hospital in Martin and finally University Hospital in uh, Bratislava. Uh, for some specialization, uh, there, are, there are also some different um, uh, like hospitals. For example, for dental medicine, maybe the students might be having the practices uh, in some other departments, but everything is located in one city and there is no need to travel anywhere to, I don't know, different city. Also, good question from uh, uh, Neha again. Is it MCI approved? Uh, in uh, Slovakia, uh, Medical Council of uh, India recognizes uh, this faculty. So, uh, Faculty of Medicine in Košice is approved in uh, India uh, for some reason. Uh, Unknown to me, uh, Comenius uh, University is not uh, is not approved. Uh, although it's like the oldest and uh, maybe the most well known university of Slovakia, but once you come to study in Košice, uh, your degree is recognized also uh, in uh, India. That's why we do the entrance test uh, for this university. Uh, in India as well. So um, I will uh, mention it uh, again for the Faculty of Medicine. I will write it uh, also in the chat. So Faculty of Medicine in Košice. Uh, in, in New Delhi, uh, we have the entrance test. We have entrance test for the uh, in New Delhi. And then on, uh, on 22nd of, uh, of uh, July, and 24th of July uh, will be entrance test for the UPGS uh, in uh, will be in uh, Chennai. So for these two uh, for these two dates, you are free to register, uh, and then actually you do not need to travel anywhere. I mean to Europe, you will just go there, uh, get the results within two to three days because everything is like. Uh, automatic and uh, university just needs to do one scan of your answer sheet to uh, give you the your results and uh, then if you will pass uh, 600 points out of out of uh, 800 you get admission automatically uh, Leshma asking uh, is there any assistance for uh, accommodation Yes, there is assistance for the uh, Faculty of Medicine in Košice Martin as well. Uh, there, are, you know, there are dormitories uh, which are located, let's say, uh, around uh, 
1,500 meters, so one point kilometer away from the uh, from the faculty. And the rate, the fees for the dormitories are usually from 100 to 160 euros for one month. And everything depends on the everything depends whether you wish to share your room with someone or you do not want to share it with someone. So logically, the double bed uh, rooms are uh, cheaper than single beds. But on another hand, it's uh, not that easy to get the single uh, single bed room in um, in uh, its dormitory. Um, there are two dormitories uh, in Košice. One is uh, located at Medicka Street. Uh, Medicka, by the way, means like medical medical street. It's very close to the university. And second is at Popratska, uh, which is, uh, as I said, one uh, one point five uh, kilometer away from the university. And then in Martin, like Martin is a very small city, so uh, there are like big uh, dormitories for the students. And um, also the faculty will be providing the, uh, the accommodation as well as the letter uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the foreign police procedure. And there shouldn't be any problem uh, for, the, for the students uh, regarding this. Mm, okay, uh, I will now wait for some more questions, uh, and uh, let's see if if you would like to ask uh, something, maybe about the process after the admission. How does it work with the enrollment? Uh, anything which is interesting for you, feel free to ask. Uh, Maybe we have now, let's say, 10, 10 minutes uh, to the end of the of this uh, of this today's webinar. And, but definitely we will continue in this. Uh, okay, later in next months or next weeks. Uh, Shweta is asking. Or Shweta, sorry if I uh, mispronounced it. Uh, entrance exam in Martin and in uh, Bratislava. Okay, so let's start with the Bratislava. Uh, so the entrance uh, examination in Bratislava will be in 24, uh, 24th and 25th of, of uh, June, and then 15th and 16th of August. I would suggest to start, or if possible, to go for the June uh, test, because like uh, everything uh, RP and residence permit process takes a lot of time. So uh, you might be in a time pressure if you decide for the August uh, term. And plus, as I said, you need to come to Slovakia because uh, Bratislava is not doing entrance exams in uh, in um, And uh, regarding the admission uh, of for the Faculty of Medicine in uh, Martin. It will be also taking place in June. It will be uh, 19th of June and then 16th of August. Uh, and also in the case of interest of many students, the faculty may come to the India to write a test over there. Uh, and again, you just need to have at least 60 to 65% pay the admission fee, submit few documents, and that's it. Uh, you might secure your, uh, your place at the university. Uh, I will continue with the, with the uh, question of Antu, then I will go back to Neha. Uh, is there any airport pickup for the students after reaching over there? Yes, there is uh, picking up uh, service. Uh, as I am uh, located uh, directly in Košice, I have assistance for the for picking gaps from the airport uh, from airports in Košice. Also, uh, if needed, uh, it's also arranged in uh, Bratislava. Uh, there are there is also direct flights. Uh, for example, for from India, the the most suitable uh, way 
uh, how the students are coming to Slovakia are through the Istanbul, because from Istanbul, you know, Turkish Airlines are having direct flights to uh, to Košice. Um, some other uh, students, they prefer to come with the uh, Indian flights companies because they have bigger allowance for the luggage weight, but that's very individual. So, like, definitely if you will decide to study in uh, Slovakia, someone will come and pick you up at the airport. I will now go back to the question of the Neha minimum salary after studies. This is a little bit a tricky question uh, because like you might be, uh, like there are various uh, types of the specializations, uh, various countries rules, uh, various like uh, minimum wages in different countries. For example, if your level of speaking German is excellent, definitely you can go to Germany and start with the uh, 3,000 euros even without attestation. Um, the reason is that usually in small hospitals they do not have any, uh, they don't have any um, uh, like any doctors who wish to work there. So that's why they do big recruitment from the Slovakia, Czech Republic, as well as Poland. And uh, that's why also the uh, money which you can get in Germany or Austria, Switzerland are like excellent. Um, if we speak about the, um, if we speak about Slovakia, starting would be around 1,200 euros. And, uh, but also you need to, if you, like really wants to increase your salary and specialization, uh, you need to uh, go for the attestation, which is like postgraduate studies. Uh, for example, it can be like postgraduate style this in dermatology. And once you will finish this attestation, you will uh, you can uh, have your own ambulance, and you can uh, you can. Um, be independent doctor uh, without any need uh, to cooperate with other doctors, which is like very uh, good uh, chance for you to get increased to two and a half thousand euros uh, in Slovakia. Uh, also, you need to take into consideration that living costs in Slovakia are definitely lower than living costs in uh, in Germany. And. Uh, uh, okay, uh, is there uh, any, okay, uh, another question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, education uh, gaps will be accepted. Yes, uh, they are accepted. There is no problem if you, uh, if you uh, had your secondary school, I don't know, like three, four years ago, uh, and you wish to continue your studies, uh, when I have some informal meetings with the universities, they sometimes they tell me that uh, faculty uh, that sometimes our students, like uh, usually the daughter is coming with the with her mother, and so once it was I think even the grandmother because like that grandmother she was like 60 or 65 years old, so I think this was like delay or uh, educational gap of. 40 years, so like if that is allowed, then like definitely five years will be also allowed. Uh, regarding the recognition process, it's also a very good uh, question. Uh, if you, uh, that education process usually it's done within first months of, the, of your studies at the faculty. And uh, you need to have uh, your 12th uh, certificate. Uh, both the di di uh, diploma, um, I mean, like degree, final degree, and the transfer of records, you need to have it apostilled. Uh, in next step, uh, you will uh, uh, submit it for the translation, and after translation, you are going to the local office of the. You are going for the local office of the. Uh, uh, Ministry of Education. Um, this process is usually very quick. And that process is usually very quick because it takes um, like one to two weeks um, and then the recognition process is done. So far I helped maybe around 100 students 
uh, from India, both at, at uh, bachelor and master degree. And uh, so far, not even single student had problem with the uh, recognition uh, for the master studies. The recognition looks a little bit different, uh, but like that maybe we can discuss uh, next webinar when if someone is interesting, uh, interested about the technical studies, uh, then definitely that could be also possible uh, to discuss maybe some sometime later. Okay, maybe we can have like five uh, final three questions uh, for next five minutes um, because I'm sure that still I didn't uh, mention uh, everything. I will just take a note of the questions which uh, were there today uh, so I can uh, incorporate it to the uh, to the presentation next year because like all of them were like very very um, interesting and very important. Maybe I can I can uh, speak um, during the last minutes about um, how does it look uh, with the uh, with the students life uh, because I guess that's also very uh, important. Uh, usually, like general speaking, uh, it's said that medical students and dentistry students they need to study, 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 and that's why they do not have that much uh, time for the uh, for the parties. Uh, definitely, it's true because, like, uh, usually in the first uh, in the first uh, years, uh, there are like many very tough exams. Uh, such as anatomy, histology, uh, physics, biology. So all of these, uh, these are like basics. And once you go higher to higher study years, um, everything ba is based on the knowledge from the previous years. Uh, that's why it's also very important not to miss any exam, uh, because if you, for example, uh, miss anatomy one, and then you cannot take uh, part of in anatomy two because uh, it was like it's so called prerequisite, and uh, um, that's why it's important to like get into the uh, study process as soon as possible and then not to get distracted uh, by many uh, very nice. Uh, uh, elements of the studying abroad. Um, if if uh, maybe if uh, when speaking about the total costs uh, for one year, I would suggest to have the the total uh, costs for one year in uh, uh, in um, of around sixteen to seventeen seventeen thousand euros uh, plus the money for the flight tickets. Uh, and uh, also insurance uh, for the uh, medical students. Uh, there is also insurance provided um, provided uh, from uh, India because, um, like in Slovakia, we have a little bit different type of the health uh, system. In Slovakia, it's uh, that system is like free for everyone. Uh, just like you need to work or to be born here. If, uh, if there is any problem for the student, uh, he or she needs to go to the hospital, pay the bill, and then claim it with the insurance company. Uh, with this, uh, there are very good experience uh, if like paperwork is done and uh, there are no problems with the paperwork, then uh, so far I didn't have experience of the student complaining uh, that the money were not uh, refunded uh, for the for the medical bill. This is uh, uh, this is the end. Uh, as I see that uh, there are no more uh, questions. Uh, I hope that uh, today you enjoyed this uh, webinar as uh, as as I did. Uh, definitely, definitely, I would suggest you again to contact your. 
a local uh, ESC, ESC branch or cooperating um, office. And I'm sure that they will be happy to assist you uh, with your way to Slovakia. Have a nice day and I hope to meet you one day in Slovakia. Bye-bye.